Welcome to the Breezing Guide. You'll learn to measure a patient with the Breezing app and Breezing wearable metabolic analyzer. The metabolic analyzer has three components, the Breezing device with the strap, the disposable mask, and the sensor. It is important that the Breezing device is fully charged before use. You can charge it overnight before use. Also, it is important you disinfect the Breezing device every time before use, following the Breezing disinfection protocol from our user manual. The disposable mask is one single user use. It has two inhalation valves on the side, assuring the patient inhales fresh air in each breathing cycle and avoiding cross-contamination between patients. It also has one exhalation valve. Before use, check the integrity of these valves. The sensor cartridge is one-time use. It comes in a sealed pack and must be opened right before use. Once the sensor is exposed to air, the measurement must be conducted immediately to avoid degradation of the sensor. Typically, one to two minutes of exposure before starting the measurement is acceptable. The Breezing app can be downloaded from the Apple or Google Store and a tablet should be used for download. We strongly recommend the use of tablets instead of phones since a call or any other functions can interrupt the measurement and ruin the sensor. In addition, we also recommend the use of iPads over any Android-based tablet since the Android operating system is subjected to more variables as open source code. If you have to use an Android operating system, we recommend the use of a 10-inch Samsung Tablet A with a certain operating version. For this, please consult to info at breezing.co. The Breezing app comes in two versions. The versions are Breezing Pro, which is the red logo, and Breezing Pro Novo, the blue logo. Breezing Pro app with red logo is HIPAA compliant and backs up the patient's information in a secure data network. Breezing Pro app with blue logo backs up the patient's information in the specific mobile device used for the measurement. We provide more details about this later in the video. Before starting the measurement, you need to make sure the preparation of your breezing system and your patient. For your breezing system, make sure both your breezing device and your mobile device with the breezing app are fully charged or have been plugged into an outlet. Before starting, reset your mobile device by closing the Breezing app and turning off your mobile device. This is a necessary step to make sure that you will have an optimal processing condition in your mobile device. Check that Bluetooth is on. The Bluetooth symbol should appear as on in the settings under Bluetooth. While keeping the mobile device connected to Wi-Fi, open the app and create a user account using your professional email and password. The created account can hold an unlimited number of patients' data, which will be available to the account user only. Make sure the email and password information are stored in a safe location for future access to your account. The user account information, email, and password will be also saved by the app and it will be necessary to gain access to the app while connecting to Wi-Fi the next time the app is used. If you are using Breezing Pro with the red logo, the patient data will be stored in the cloud, so the user will be able to access all patient data in his or her account from any other mobile device. The patient's results can be transmitted from mobile device to the patient's email, professional's email, or printed in a report via a Wi-Fi printer. If you are using Breezing Pro with the blue logo, the patient data will only be stored in the mobile device used to collect the data, and it will not be transferred to another mobile. So, it is the user's responsibility to keep patient's records secured within the physical mobile device in use or by transferring the information manually to another safe location or by printing the information. The breezing device is prepared for assessing adults' individuals which typically have normal physical characteristics of exhalation rates between 3.5 to 11 liters per minute. Before the measurement, instruct your patient to prepare for the measurement. Make sure it follows the recommended conditions of no eating or drinking coffee or tea for at least four hours before the measurement. Wait for at least four hours after moderate exercise and at least 12 hours after strenuous exercise. Drinking water before the measurement is fine. Make sure the patient is seated for several minutes in a quiet, comfortable environment at room temperature and that the patient is truly at rest. If possible, assess the patient's physiological state with a heart rate or blood pressure monitor while the patient is seated for the measurement. Note that any deviation from this runs the risk of misinterpreting the results of a resting energy expenditure measurement. Step 1. Select Patient. Once you have signed into your professional account, tap plus to create a new patient or if the account has been used before, scroll or use letters to navigate the list of patients and find your patient. Also consider to tap the gear icon in the upper left to modify your user information, measurement units, or other global app settings. Here an important note that may be interesting for education and marketing of your practice. You can run the Breezing app for demonstration purpose by selecting Demo On in Settings, 
This will walk through the app and measurement steps and simulate the app results at the end of the demo. Step 2. Verify patient info. Now, coming back to the real measurement scenario, you must complete the patient profile entering the date of birth, height, and lifestyle with the understanding that lifestyle does not take into account exercise activities. Lifestyle only considers the type of daily work activities. For most people, sedentary is the correct category since they remain working on desks, offices, or benches most of the day, and may only perform structured exercise just a few hours a week. Then, tap New Test to begin. If the patient was previously added to the patient list, click on the patient's name and tap New Test. Step 3. Power on. Take your breathing device and be prepared to start the measurement by attaching the Velcro strap, anchoring the strap at three points of the breathing devices, two on one side and one on the top of the anchoring point of the other side. Then the breathing device is ready to start the process. Press and hold the power button for two seconds and wait for the blue power light to illuminate. Step four, connect device. Then press connect and wait for the device to establish Bluetooth connection automatically. If multiple breathing devices are present in the same room or in the neighboring areas, please select and verify the correct device ID. If for some reason the breathing device does not connect, make sure your mobile device has Bluetooth on, resetting the breathing device by turning it off and then on. Make sure the blue LED light is back on and then press refresh again. Step 5. Calibration. After the device is connected, scan the QR code provided with the sensor using the camera of the tablet. To do this, tap Scan to initiate QR capture. To capture the QR code, align the scan window with the QR code of the sensor so the app automatically captures the code and progress to the next step. Step 6. Insert sensor. After that, open a new sensor pack and remove the sensor. The pack can be opened with scissors. Then, take the sensor with the letter B in the right position and insert it into the sensing chamber on the bottom of the device embossed with the letter B facing the front of the device. After that, close the sensor chamber cover and making sure there's full closure. It is important to know that once the sensor pack is opened, insert the sensor into device and close the sensor chamber as quickly as possible. The sensor is one time use and each test requires a new sensor. Do not attach the silicone mask yet. This app will instruct you to do so in a subsequent step. If an error message appears, it is because the sensor was inserted incorrectly. Other causes of error may be due to the inserted sensor that may have been used or left exposed to air for too long or there may be no sensor at all in the chamber. If this happens, open sensor chamber cover, press cartridge to release, flip and reinsert the sensor or insert a new freshly opened sensor, close the chamber cover and tap check sensor again. If the error persists, take a picture of your sensor, your sensor QR code, and send it to our info at breezing.co to assess your situation. Step 7. Device self check. After the sensor check step is passed, place the device on a flat surface without the mask attached to it, then tap continue. The device will perform a short self check routine and the app will automatically progress to the next step when the step is completed. Step 8. Place on patient. After the device is self-checked, attach the silicone mask to the breathing device. Then, with the strap attached by three anchoring points as explained earlier before, place the breathing device on the patient's face, asking the patient to help you hold the mask in the right place, which is over the nose and mouth, and grab the remaining loose strap. Pass the straps over the head and tighten them so that all straps are symmetrically tied around the head. Make sure to tighten all straps enough to avoid leaks and so that disposable mask is completely flush with the patient's face. For patients with long hair, you may want to tie up your hair to ensure a better fit. Once you've ensured the strap fits properly, this means it doesn't slide around on the patient's head, ask the patient if he or she perceives leaks, streams of air on the face passing through the edge of the mask, and readjust the mask position as needed to avoid leaks. Then, tap Start Test once you're satisfied with the mask fit. Step 9. The Test Make sure the client is relaxed and breathing comfortably. The patient should be breathing with his or her nose or mouth or both as he or she normally breathes. Some minor movement during the test is okay, but the patient should remain comfortably seated for the duration of the measure. After pressing Start, the countdown indicates the time remaining in the test. Once the countdown is complete, the app will automatically progress to the next step. 
and voila, the results. The app will automatically move to the results screen once the 10 minute test countdown is complete. Note, once the measurement is performed, there is a notes field in the optional text entry field to enter any pertinent information. It is important to note that once all the information is revised, make sure to press done to record the measurements in the records. Step 10, exporting and printing results in the offline lab. In both apps, the online and offline breezing apps, to print the results, you can tap the export icon in the upper right corner. This will require you to have a wirelessly connected printer. To do so, first, make sure the wireless printer is connected to the mobile device. If the printer is not previously configured with an in-use Wi-Fi network, the following steps are necessary. A. Make sure your printer is on with the wireless function on. B. In your mobile device, go to Wi-Fi and search for available wireless devices slash printers. C. Select the wireless printer to use, enter a password if it is required, and join the mobile device on the wireless printer. Once the printer is connected, go to the app results page, select print results from the upper right hand side corner, choose the printer and proceed to print. A page with the printed client patient profile and the measurement results should be obtained. Exporting and printing results, online app. For the online breezing app from the upper right hand side corner, choose the export option and proceed to choose your preferred destination. Patient via email to PDF to patient, yourself, user account via export results to CSV. For the second case, you will receive a URL link that requires your account's email and password to access the CSV file. The CSV file will contain all the information in a way that you can add notes and continue recording other important information. We recommend to review the resources available in our web for professionals and educational material for your client. From our dedicated breezing team, we thank you for using breezing.